Good morning, and God bless you. Welcome to the 10 Days of Fast devotional readings. Today is day one, and I'm Sister Anna Green. I will be reading from the New King James Version of St. John 4, 34 through 35. Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say, There are still four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, Lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. Believers and unbelievers both need to carefully consider the fact that Jesus is coming back. The Bible is not ambiguous about the return of Jesus. He's coming back to destroy evil, gather together his followers, and build the kingdom of heaven. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in Jesus, he's still coming back, and you still have a chance to accept his free gift of salvation. If you do believe in Jesus and have accepted him as Lord and Savior, continue to grow in his grace as he prepares you for his return. Jesus taught that we are to love God and love our neighbor. We live in a world that is controlled by an enemy who works day and night to distract us from that simple teaching. It seems clear to me that Jesus expects us to stand up to the darkness of this world and be a part of the light that brings hope, love, joy, and every opportunity. I had an opportunity to be that light right here in my own neighborhood. One day there was a lady walking down the street. She had a cane in her hand and the other hand she had bag, grocery bags. But she seemed to be stumbling and the Lord placed it upon my heart to go and ask to see if there was anything I could do for her or help her with. I was a little reluctant at first because, of course, we were different um, color. But she received me with open arms. She, she was very appreciative of me, my willingness to help her. And I thank the Lord for sending me to directing me to her and from that one encounter the Lord has blessed us to um, have a relationship and that encounter happened a few years ago and this lady Miss Loretta has become a part of our family um, I've become a part of her family and her community her neighborhood um, and I just thank God for you know, just taking that one step of outreach. And um, he said, if you plant, he said all, all we needed to do was plant and, and he would do the rest. And I thank God for opening up that door because now it's not just Miss Loretta that um, I'm dealing with. It's her community, her, her neighbors. And it's been a blessing. And Jesus, as believers in Christ, we have that same opportunity to tell of our story for Him. Now is the time for us to impact our environment for Him. Right now, you can determine to spend your day consumed with self-desires, or you can look beyond yourself into the field of harvest for something or someone else. The reality is that we are all facing different challenges in our life, but we can't let those circumstances stop our testimony. It is my prayer that during this time of fasting and prayer that we seek God through the power of the Holy Spirit and that you personally receive a spark of inspiration that fuels your next move for Him. I believe that God will speak directly to you daily during this time. If you seek him wholeheartedly, let's look up and see the harvest before us. Let Jesus use you in your current state to share your testimony 
of his power operating in your life with others. God bless you and continue to strengthen you during this time.